Hello all, Shoestring here. Today we're going to look at this inexpensive battery I picked up. I'm going to use it for a secondary backup system in my off-grid solar. And I wanted to show it to you so you can see exactly what we're getting. Two little cards. I don't know if that's all the manual we're going to get. I'll give you a moment to look at it so you can take your time. This is a, is a 12.8 volt and 200 amp hour battery, and it's a pretty big piece of equipment here. Let's go ahead and get it out. And there it is. It's uh, covered in this plastic, which we'll go ahead and take off. And it's in this plastic pretty good. Lithium battery, 200 amp hour. And there we go. So if you like something covered in plastic real well, that is the battery for you. So we're going to review this lip pulse battery. At least that's what I'm calling it, lip pulse battery. It says 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour plus. It's got these protectors on it, but it appears the bolts are already in here, so they ship the bolts on it. It's uh, put together pretty good. The BMS is also 200 amp, which is good. Probably why they call it plus. A lot of these inexpensive batteries you buy, the BMS is only going to be 100 amps. So having actually 200 is going to be pretty good. So... It was packaged fairly well, and all there was was these backup bolts, M8s, like most of them come with. So I, there's no manual, only these cards. It says the nominal voltage, 12.8, we knew that. Nominal capability, 200 amp hours, right. Okay, so it is 2560 watt hours. We knew that just because of the type it is. It says there the weight is 52 pounds. And like I said, those are M8 terminals, so the bolts are 8 millimeters. Here you have your recommended charges, maximum, and current. Recommend voltage 14.6, which is fairly common with lithium. Sometimes they'll say 14.4 or 3, but this is a 6. So you can take your charge controller and set it up to 14.6. It says your discharge performance can be 200 amps, of course. That's because the BMS has a 200 amp. And the normal type of protections. I don't see anything about it having a cold temperature. So at the moment, we will assume it will not. And different things you can be using this for. I plan on using it as a part of my backup off-grid system. Okay, so now that we've basically looked at it, and uh, like I said, it is a standard casing, what you would expect from an inexpensive lithium battery. And this is one of the cheapest on the market, by the way, that I have seen that has good ratings and good reviews. And that's why I picked this one to show to you. We're going to test it. I'm going to tell you how much it costs. And we'll go on from there. Okay, so our Lippus... 12 volt, 200 amp hour battery passed all the computer tests we did. It passed all the tests and matched all the requirements. But anyone that knows my channel knows that batteries are used in the real world, not just on computers. They are used to run fans and heaters. And that's what I'm really going to test it on. And that's what I'm going to show you guys. I have this battery connected to a Harbor Freight Jupiter pure sine ray wave. It is 1,000 watts. It's a fairly good system. All right, so what we're going to do is I have my kilowatt attached to it. Let's go ahead and do watts. All right, watts and zero, zero, which is what we're looking for. I have it connected to an extension cord here, and the extension cord is connected to two fans, which, of course, we're going to run at the same time. And let's put it on high, and that will give us 
oh, 60 or so watts, I suspect. Yeah, about 67, 66. All right, that's good. The second one here, do the same thing. And that will get us over 100, 128 watts coming out. Now, I'm not trying to see if it will pull the whole 200 amps. I know it will because it tested down in the lab to do that. Actually, when I say lab, I mean basement. What we're going to do is see if it will pull when we're running motors, which is the hardest thing to pull, its actual full amount. And we'll come out here every so often and take a look. So I've added a third fan because I wanted to bring the wattages up. It's now up to about, oh, 165. We'll let this run at 165 for several hours and we'll see how we're doing. So I expect this at, we'll say 165, to run for at least 12, maybe 13 hours. That's how much we should get out of a 200 amp hour battery running at 165 watts. So if we get 10 to 12 hours, that will be really good and it will pass our real world test. Now the voltage when we started the battery here was 13.3. That's after you've charged it all the way up and you let it sit for a couple hours, which I did. 13.3. All these lithiums, after you charge them to 14.6, will go to a resting voltage somewhere between 13.5 and 13.2. Doesn't mean if the battery's any good or not. It simply means that's what its resting voltage is. And you need to know that when you're working with your battery so you'll know if they're performing the way they're supposed to. Alright, we are at the halfway point. I thought we'd stop and take a look. Going to use our multimeter. And we are at 12.95 after about 10 hours. And that is very, very good. It's about where we want to be. Let's take a look at our kilowatt hours down here. Kilowatt meter says 9 hours and 41 minutes. So right around 10 hours, halfway point, doing really well. And we'll come out again when it stops and see where we're at. All right. Our battery is finished at test, by the way. It's beeping at us because the inverter says it's about to shut the battery down. But as you can hear, the fans are still running. But the inverter is about to shut us down. It has run over 14 hours, which means this has been a very successful test. There went the fans, by the way. Very successful test. It is at 12, I mean, 10, 20. 10.2, which means the inverter, of course, have shut it off. The battery isn't entirely drained. Let's go ahead and turn that off so we don't keep hearing the beeping. All right, so what did we find out? This is a 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour battery, and it does meet all the requirements that has been advertised for. It has all the protections it is supposed to have, does not have low temperature but it does have all the protections it's supposed to have. It has a 200 amp hour BMS, which is very good, because a lot of these will only come with a 100 amp hour BMS. Anyway, it has met all the requirements. It's actually a good battery for its price. Price is under $500. I'll go ahead and put a link and let you look at it. That's an extremely good price for a 200 amp hour battery that actually works. Now, I'm going to see if I can get another one of these, and if I can, I'm going to put them in parallel, show you how to do that, show you how that works, and show you where I'm going to put this in my battery room. If you like these type of videos, please like, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. She's string out.